the United States had made big major moves that Mobile had a uh, tanker truck turn over and catch fire. Mobile, they didn't say AMBA. They were never really mentioned AMBA so much. We knew it out here, but but you know, in the big, it, when it went back to the U.S., it was Mobile. Oh, Mobile. Getting the big picture, it's not a truck car. It's the owner. <coughs> heavy traffic here <clears throat> and if you know I don't know why but you notice lately I, I you know Rhoda and uh, uh, Kenny and you guys don't have the same maybe situation but here I've noticed Beach Road a lot more somehow there's a lot more cars on island than there used to be so today it's what in the world where all these cars come from and you guys are dealing with that all the time yeah Man, you've got to keep your eyes moving and anticipate about hazardous material, handling it, right? You guys are handling it when you what? You go over and put it in the truck and, and uh, deliver it. That's a hazmat, hazmat, it's a hazardous material. I just want you guys to quickly look at the definition. Hazardous material is any item or agent physical that has the ability to do what? It can cause harm to us, humans, animals or the environment okay OSHA what they say is if it can affect or hurt the employee the worker that's what they care about OSHA cares about the worker DOT if you go to transport it they carry about they care about the worker but they all so carry uh, care about the environment, the public. Remember, OSHA cares about the employee, but EPA and DOT they care about the public. say the same thing but they're a little bit different. Hazardous waste operations has whopper that falls under OSHA cleanup. You become a cleanup worker. Quite a bit of training involved if you actually are going to put on the suit the respirator and the full cleanup. Our job is being the first responder because we'll be driving a fuel truck, so obviously we're always going to be a first responder. We will go so far until
malalaman ng reader, ako ang reader nasa US ako. Kinakailangan, be firm kayo sa information na ilalagay nyo. Ang sabi rito, what could prevent from happening again? Ano? Yes! Use your MTNT. Uh, PTNT. Tama ba? PTNT. MPTNT. Multiple tax and Tell the method. Ano nga sir, hindi nga na ibagsak na nakita agad. Pero sa'yo, safe ka. Di ba? Kasi nakita mo agad. Ang akala ko siya, ang tanong, paano natin may iwasan ng itong pangyayaran din? Kala ko yung sa schedule. Pwede man sabihin namin na sa dispatcher, sigurad ba ito? Check mo kung ano. Kasi nga, sa kanila hindi mo sasabi na o sigurad ba ito. Di ba? Kasi wala tayo ni. Ang pwedeng mo nang magmagawa, yung ginawa mo nung una. Kaya hindi mo na i-drop. Di ba? Always. Check again. Yes. Multiple point pass and tear. You have to follow the method of MPT and T. 
multiple point tax and fair. Now, who is reporting this? Rapi. Contact number ni Rapi. 670, always 670? Yes. And then, kasahin niyo ulit bago niyo isubmit. Remember, ang magbabasa dito, hindi taga rito. Ang magbabasa dito, hindi rin taga scheduler o terminal. Ang magbabasa dito, Maintindi pa ng fit, ang fit ay napakarami. Ang hawak nila ay region upper and lower, API, Asia Pacific, 